I've uh, been doing a little bit of fiddling. Um, there was actually an update late last night, the bot I'm using, that added a couple fun uh, triggers and capabilities. So I've been fiddling around with it. Um, seems like it. Mm, I might have it s set on the wrong parameter, so I'll have to take that. Yeah. Feeling feeling a little bit on top of the ziggurat today, so I had to I had to shrink down a little bit. But uh, hey, man, that's what uh, that's what polymorph is for. Well, I hope your Friday has been pretty great, or at least your overall week. Now that we're rolling into rounding out this year, go ahead and hit start since this first load screen tends to take forever. Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, adding a couple things. Um, there is now an extra little thing in Blep. I have one more I want to put in there. <laughs> and there's also that. <laughs> uh, I figure that would be, uh, that might have some fun use. Although I suppose, uh, uh, something already ap appropriate for the sad violin. So, um, I have been procrastinating, uh, getting, getting, uh, a thing. And I woke up today, I'm like, well, I was able to get my cooking done, so I actually have more free time than I planned. So, um, how about I drive down to that store real quick and, uh, buy that, buy that little board game I was thinking about. And then I thought, well, it's not that far away. It's only like a mile, like eight blocks, maybe. Like I can, I can walk that. Yeah, I, I, I could use the exercise. Yeah, it's not too cold today. And then I step outside and remember, it's been snowing, sleeting on and off the past few days. So the sidewalks are just a layer of ice. I'm like, well, you're among the faithful. Show some respect. I've already come all the way outside. I'll, 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 I'll make it work. So, I slowly meandered my way all the way to the store, and it was closed. <laughs> uh, and then I had to slowly slide my way back. Thankfully, I only busted my ass uh, once. Um, Second time was almost pretty bad, because there was stuff around me I could have fallen on, but, uh... Thankfully, no injuries other than my pride and my hip is, like, bruised. <laughs> this is insane. The ballast, the ballast trade. It's a short drop from there. Alright, so... We tied up saving the prince from the, um, sun cult last time. And now we're mostly continuing, I believe it's the main, main, main quest is what we're on right now. Yeah, we got a, I guess we're trying to find the citadel. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I hope I hope you have um, plenty of food and potable water, because uh, power, power outages can be really rough. Um, I hope you're doing okay, Aurora. Um, I appreciate you stopping by despite the troubles. Ah, <laughs> uh, we, gotta, we gotta do a little bit of parkour. Yeah, this seems safe. Yeah, I had to... I had to deal with... Uh... Did I go down? Is this a down or an up? Hmm. They, oh, it's a down. 
Yeah, I've had to. I had to go. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. A week or so months without power. Oh, delicious! Oh, I bet that's absolutely I crunchy. Here before. Obviously, no. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. I gotta say, if you point. have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along a for the ride. Hey, yo. Iris, hello. I hope your week's going great. Now that we're almost, we're starting to round I've out the rest of this year. Trying to uncover the secrets of this world, where the machines came from, how the old ones achieved such marvels, only to fall into silence and death, a lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east, and voila. For her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identity scan. Yeah, I, I would definitely make sure you get some. Uh, profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Make sure you get like a. Malfunction. As, as Malfunction. I experienced, a Malfunction. fucking can opener. Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped that's better not be a time to show ah weekend off is always nice to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look what? around. Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, I'm already, I'm already seeing a problem with that. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess I'll have to leave that in for now. <laughs> And uh yep, you found you found uh found the other thing I've added. There's uh there's one more blep um uh, that I wanna get in. But I gotta find the right sound and how I want to animate it. And this one is still only partially because right now I don't have I would like it to um to like drop a copy of of the tongue. And just have it like fall off because it's like you know it prints prints it out and then the paper tear. Oh, I guess it's probably really hard to see because I'm very tiny. So the uh, throwing system also makes the tongue asset very tiny. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I think uh, I think I put it like. 50-50 odds for it being um, the normal and the uh, the printer version. <laughs> I'll probably adjust it later, but wanted to make sure it worked. The 
please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection oh. of beverages and snacks are available. Ooh, snacks and beverages. Can I, can I catch it? Ah, oh, I can bounce it. I can bounce it. Get, oh, ah, it fell. A lot harder to catch the emotes when I'm tiny. <laughs> also, yes, soon is out, and also, um, one of the scrungled animated ones. I think I put it under sacrifice. Both of them done by Mystic Flower. There's one last emote sitting in jail. Yes. <laughs> I don't have any of the um, the ones I truly want for the animated slots yet, but you know the uh, normal Twitch animation modifiers I think worked well enough. What? Where was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. All right. I feel like this is going to be a pretty cutscene heavy to area. Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. If you know, robots it, uh, will continue to replicate and devour perhaps the it virus, simply depends. life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. Yeah. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? Come on, get to it. One reason. What's Horizon Zero Dawn? To buy time for you. And the work you will do here. Zero Day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. All right, I'm, I'm starting to feel uh, the, uh, the synthetic humans somehow. Maybe? That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't exist. Because if, if, if we were somehow robot enough, but it was. They wouldn't detect us as humans to eliminate. Somehow Elizabeth Me. saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Also, yeast. Of yes, course, yes. of course, the hearts make they got in. make sounds Through when the they're vents. thrown. Let nothing stop you from. I got the throwing the system. Got to have Spread fun out. with it. If it moves, kill it. What is this place? Tomb. Oh, yo, I'm, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, 
Oh, oh man, yeah, I gotta, I gotta refund it. That's unacceptable. Oh, crab cakes! This guy's got missile launcher. I just noticed I had like no health. Um, the general was a uh, recording, but also Silence is speaking to us. Okay, let's also switch to our strong arrows. Kestrels, they got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out. If it moves, kill it. What is this place? Tomb? Okay, I would like to kill the rocket gunner first, but I don't think I'll be able to. So let's try and take this guy out. Alright, alright. Where's our little bad guy? Nope, not what I meant to do. Waste of an arrow. All right. Oh, dang, he slagged me up. That's fine. Turn about is fair day. Yeah, um, zero day is the day like the machines won. Cause like, um, basically there was a, uh, the Pharaoh company made, um, robots. They pivoted to making military robots. What did they contain? And one of them was able to consume, able to use biomatter to create more robots. Um, obviously thinking like you could deploy it, a country could deploy it, and then it could just like fight a war on its own, constantly replenishing itself. Um, problem. Humans are biomatter, first off. Uh, second off, they lost control of it. And so it started replicating um, more and more robots who would go out and consume more and more biomatter. And that's, uh... Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global-scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Alright, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of those things, so I wanna... Uh, what was I saying? Um, so, they have... they have this robot that is infinitely reproducing. So we, we basically have a Grey Goo Apocalypse scenario on our hands. Um, we know there's this, this Zero Dawn project. Probably gonna find out what exactly that is now. Um, day Zero is basically the point at which the machines have consumed all um, biological life on Earth. Um, and, and we're basically dead. Because, you know, you can't just... Ooh. You can't just, like, wait out that kind of scenario. 
Oh, I thought this was... Maybe I need to go through here. Or this is a way to sneak. Um, so I assume Zero Dawn is because it's a plan for... Maybe they let Day Zero happen, and then they had this trigger to go after it. So it's like, you know, Dawn of Day Zero um, to replenish. But I don't know if that fits, because... Like, the time date, roughly, is, like, 2250, because we found some data, data things that had the date of, like, 2050, year 2050, 2060 or so, as when, um, the machine apocalypse happened. And then with all these overgrown areas and stalactites, definitely a few hundred years have passed. I feel like if this was, like, thousands of years, there were, the facilities would be much more scrungled. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we're we're going to find out. Let me see if we get any other interesting tidbits on these audio recordings. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a... A Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Harris said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Thank you. And yeah, I, 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 I'm really liking this story. It scratches a lot of itches of interests and things I, I like to think about um, as far as like techno futurism. Um, another thing, I think it was last session or the session before that, um, that I think was like, I, I had I had to step away for a moment because it, it really really it was a real big gut punch. Um, there was a set of data records of um, basically someone on the front lines of of the enduring, um, basically the people holding off the robots while this project was being worked on, um, and it was a soldier sending messages back to his significant other, and. It really drives home um, kind of the horror of this. You know, I do like they didn't pull their punches on like the horror of war, the horror of of trying to survive in the situation that they were fighting. Because it talks about and it like specifically calls out like these are machines that consume biomatter to create more machines. They're sending humans to fight them. So these, this horror of people basically getting fed into a wood chipper and spitting out even more robots, which is absolutely one of the more horrifying things I could think of um, uh, to have to experience and deal with. And even worse, if you think about it, is these people, um, because robots have been used for war for decades and decades and decades, most of these people are like normal civilians that have never seen conflict like this before. But they have, there's literally nothing they can do. We're fighting for their survival. Oh well, yeah, the robots are definitely consuming and adapting. Also, what's up, Hagler? Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. 
Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, he was um, in, a, in a state to contribute further to the uh, Zero Dawn project. Although he does have some points, a, a generational um, colony ship has very interesting problems. Um, in practicality. Initiating playback. Oh, another cutscene. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. Or does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it okay. Gaia. Mother Nature <laughs> as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. Oh, sh that's the cauldron! Detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas. To the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks. To rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us. Our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing what about to achieve Hades? it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Okay, 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 okay. This is, this is very fascinating. So we have, so the original apocalypse was not from 
a ghost the sh ghost of the machine situation. A a AGI didn't arise. Did this. So they made an artificial general intelligence, and then sort of had focused modules. How did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Okay, okay, so um, we have each of those helper modules, and I find that really fascinating. There was a, I cannot remember the title of the book, um, a book I was reading from the perspective of an artificial intelligence um, that people were trying to build. And the way they made it sort of work is it was actually sort of a bundle of different AIs, but they all had different focuses. So like one of them was um, sort of like the empathy and human connection sort of thing. And so that one was like really good at talking to people and um, like being social and empathetic. Another one is like self-preservation. Um, you know, it doesn't want to die. It doesn't want to be deact, you know, things like that. And they, it was really fascinating because it would zoom in on these internal discussions between the various AIs because only one of them can be controlling the body effectively at a time. And it's sort of how they prioritize um, all those things. And like they, at one point they were talking about, um, you know, hey, we can't let self-preservation have too much control because that has the opposite effect of, you know, the humans and whatever the rest, you know, they think we're going rogue and they, um, they do something to us and then we don't remember what happens and there's changes. Uh, that we notice and there's nothing they can do about it so they collectively on their own kind of deprioritize self-preservation in some ways um, i'm doing a pretty bad pitch on this book that i can't remember the name of but th this scenario reminds me a lot of that book um i do think it's interesting that gaia is intended to be an agi but each of the modules are not an agi so i don't know if they are like sub-sentient artificial intelligence, so they're not, um, they're like all these other AIs, but just like focused on one specific thing. And that is interesting that we have the Apollo project obviously failed, because that had the, the focuses, not many people have them, um, so I don't know if there was some issue on, on seeding it. Yeah, I think I think the difference between Gaia and the submodules, um, what would be a good analogy? What would be a good analogy between like the functional difference? Um, okay, I think I think a better way to think I think a way to think of this. So Gaia Gaia is the human is a human person. And then all of these modules is in a toolbox. You know, each, 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 like you have a wrench and that wrench is good for that one specific task. Um, Gaia is the one choosing, like controlling which modules or which, which tools being used where, but like the tools themselves are sort of, they exist as they are. They can't really change themselves. They're not making any decisions. Um, there's something like, that is there for Gaia to be leveraging. Uh, but somehow the Apollo module didn't fire off as appropriate. And the Hades went rogue, question mark? I'm trying to think. So if Artemis, if I remember correctly in the list, um, was the, we're going to crack the code and shut down um, shut down the the gray goo infinite reproduction robots um which i believe took 500 so this this game is actually set even further i thought we were like 200 years in the future we're more like five or six hundred years in the future because that's what they said how long it would take to crack the encryption and shut down the robots but what was it didn't even say what hades was supposed to do because if artemis killed 
those, then what would Hades be around for? Maybe a module to prevent the AI from ever getting too smart? So, like, maybe, maybe Hades existed to kind of, once everyone's brought back to life, to maybe kill the Gaia module, because if all life was returned, there's no reason for the AI to continue existing, and they didn't want a risk of the AI going rogue again. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out here. Keep that for later. Yes, yes, yes. Give me all the mushrooms. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. <laughs> Oh, God damn it, Silas. That's a whole bunch of bullshit. Three fucking roaming candle Gatling gun dudes all at once. Really, game? Really? You gonna do that? You gonna do me dirty like that? All right, let's make sure I have my good arrows equipped. That was a whole load of bollocks, I tell you what. Intruder! Get her! Looks like we're introduced. Whatever you do, don't die now. Okay, that's one down. Those things are barely guns. Basically, just taped a bunch of rock, uh, roaming candles together. Ah! ah, crap, I'm running out of materials. So let's use some other arrows. Burn! You're on fire! Alright. There we go. No, 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 no! I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay, I didn't die. Oh, that would have sucked. Uh, do you have potions on your body? I don't... I want to loot. Take all. A uh, bunch of supply boxes. All right. Uh, I think we got some more talking bits. Now, those lame FBI and black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them, but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous. All right, Aurora. Thanks for stopping by the ziggurat. Hope you have a good lurk, and I hope your your powers stay stable, mate. Stay safe. Zero dawn. It is art in a way, an expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee, by algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? 
Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history, an echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Well, that was a uh, that was a uh, that was a quick uh, quick lurk. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I think there was one more. No. Well, I definitely need to replenish my medicine. So let's snag those. Aloy, Aloy, come on, come on, girl. There you go. Delicious mushrooms. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. There's a Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Park around. No, I didn't mean to do that. All right. We got left, up, left, down, right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Okay. And then I think I need to get the spare thing. I mean, uh, yeah, because uh, bread is just yeast. Bread, bread is pretty universal in most most all cultures. Like everywhere across the world, um, has their their own bread they end up making. Um, I would definitely recommend trying if you ever visit other places. Um, try try and find some local bread to see how it is. Um, Found one. Looks intact. I had Ethiopian bread once, and it's not for me. It, it was kind of kind of sourdoughy. It, it it was like a sourdough naan sort of thing. Like it was thin discs, kind of spongy, and had sort of that sourdoughy taste. It was not really uh, not really my jam, but uh, still, it's always good to try new things. You never know what you'll actually like. <laughs> no problem, Iris. We'll save you a seat at the fire. Did I pick a thing up? I guess I did. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Okay, up left. Up. Left. Down, right up. Up, left, down, right up. Ah, mm, there's something about it being hey, backwards. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him a- Okay. Hey, I'm I need done to with reverse everything. Shut up. So that's actually be 
down, right, up. Basically, I need to hit two on everything. Right, up, left, down. Oh, uh, maybe it's just that single one needs to be backwards? No. Oh, I think it's upside down. So I need to read. So this needs to be down. Left, up, right, down. That did it. Yeah, there we go. Fuck you, Brett. No, just Do your job. <laughs> uh, or at least fix it. Like, come on, man. You had 500 years. Fucking love this soon emo. <laughs> They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. How are they all ahead of it's me? It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Ooh, can I get a stealth kill to start this off? Without the leader strike skill. Ow! Oh, ah, I thought I could finish him off. All right, I'm missing. I'm missing a skill. Let's see if I can uh, grab that skill real quick. Do 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 do. -do. Strong strike. I need a leader strike. Alright, let's try this again. Hostile spotted! Are you serious? Alright, that's a bunch of bollocks, mate. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it seems uh, setting them on fire and then slapping them around is the strategy to go with. There are, are a lot more enemies than I thought there were. Alright, uh, let's try that again. Whoops. Third tries the charm. And I was, I was giving them a chance to surrender. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't fucking... I had a, I, I need to, I need to buy the skill and save. I am a fool! Not escape my fucking arrows. Ah, I see more drop in. That's fan fantastic. Cool. Love that for them. Yeah, let's go ahead and re unlock that. Do 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 do. Sneak up on someone. Seems like this guy is a prime. Haven't you got anything better to do? Come on. Come on. Turn around. Oh, what? All right. One down. Not one of the leaders. I'm gonna get the elites. Come on. I was expecting just like massive damage for initial strike, but I'll I'll fucking I'll fucking take insta kill. I am perfectly okay with that. Sorry to spoil your fun. Good oh, shit. Oh no! There's even more! Are you kidding me, mate? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Alright, alright. There we go. I really need more wire so I can make more of my good arrows. Give me more wires. Alright, music's chilled out. That was the last wave. It's kind of weird, like, we just broke into here, yet all these enemies somehow found a way to be ahead of us? Um, maybe it wasn't so difficult to get in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Problem has been solved. I applied Hello. bullet. I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. 
the last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Okay, I didn't I didn't want to interrupt that bit, but like Iris. Oh I'm I'm itty bitty, even on the zoom. Um thank you, thank you for gifting subscription to Durangar. I don't think they're I don't think they're in at the moment, but uh I do know them from elsewhere and they are a pretty cool person. Um thank you. Itty bitty. Yeah, if you notice, there is I do have my focus on. It's very hard to see. Shoot. Yeah, until the robot nation attacked. <laughs> uh, that's no problem. I, uh, I I stumbled upon the hollow projector. I didn't even realize it was there. I think I just I don't know if it was an auto event or if I was mashing um, the use button. <laughs> I've seen these shapes before, in cauldrons. But of course, the birthing places of Gaia's machines. So maybe the Hephaestus got taken by Hades, and that's why it's making the aggro machines? So I wonder if Hades maybe um, accidentally became sentient. And so now it's sort of fighting Gaia? Hmm. Oh, I could have snuck around to get to these guys. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. Oh. But it, it's sealed off. There's more eclipse. Careful now. Alright, I'll hydrate. Oh, you're telling me I can't just drink coffee and only coffee? Oh, that reminds me. I think my alerts are being strongly again, so let me jiggle them and see if they'll go back to working. Stupid. Uh, the things I do to split my audio. It's a Friday night. I can, I can stay up as late as I want. <laughs> so that's the advantages of being an adult. No one can stop you from eating an entire cake. The downside is that nobody stopped you from eating an entire cake. Welcome to Apollo. The collective All memory of the lost. human species and the wellspring of the knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. How about the fact Until we exist recently, at all? I was director Twilight of the International Collective Memory anyway. Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, 
Therefore, that sounds pretty delicious. The ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Yep, yep, that's smart. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data I don't entries, buy bananas very often. 42 zettabytes of because data I like them in Mandarin, too much. English, if I get a, Spanish, if I get a bundle, Arabic. I'll basically snack Third, on it all day and then it's, it's gone. The of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula. By oh no, gamification! With commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills <laughs> they need to take control of the terraforming system. Lovely, oh my god is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed not just right. the preservation of the past but the seed yeah for the H hades is a league bot that became sentient and you know what i don't blame it for wanting to destroy all humans all right so we're gonna need you to um we're gonna need you to pull on the mathematics banner so five star your five star pull is gonna be uh calculus um but if you're really lucky and you get that um that one percent chance oh i didn't mean to replay that nope stop stop i was doing a bit stop can i override you I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. All right, As you ruined it. I, I ruined it, but you ruined it. Of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the. There we go. We had to cut off. Company. <laughs> Don't mind the guy who screamed out. Nobody's here. They're still looking. I get. Uh, I. I'm. Uh, technically, I think there's like a Cold Stone Creamery I could order some ice cream from, but like the the roads are super icy. I uh. I don't want to inflict that on anyone. I don't need ice cream that bad. I should know, I walked basically two miles on slippery, icy sidewalks earlier today. All for nothing. So, really should learn to check ahead of time if stores are open. But you know what, I got a little bit of exercise, so I'll... Hashtag worth, I guess? Oh, he's got a lot of health. Oh, come on! Ow! My face. I need that to live. Ow! Stop! Stop shooting me! Stop shooting me! Only I shoot things. Come on, how'd that miss? Actually, no, let's not waste my good arrows. I can barely make enough as is. Get ready. Oh, bloody hell! Alright. He could shoot. I feel like there's probably a bunch of stuff in those resource packs. They're probably filling out my inventory. I haven't opened like a single one. <laughs> Full already. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, America's bad enough uh, with sidewalks. 
they don't really clear them out. So, uh, if I was smarter, I would have walked more on the, the slushy roads. But uh, it was like a sheet of ice on most of the sidewalk. I only, I only slipped and fell once, so you know. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> a lot of experience on ice, so that uh, certainly helped. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's <gasps> extinction failsafe protocol. Oh no! No wonder it went rogue. I know what you they had a tech bro in charge of it. Guy is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function? Who put Elon in charge of Hades? Life all over again. I mean, what the what? Just plum crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere—that's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, <laughs> oh, no. imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you going to do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're going to do, guy? is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want Yeah, there's no stage? possible way this could go wrong at all. And how is it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan getting While we're fighting like robots kind of that infinitely reproduce. I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Um, if you want snakes being all slippery, I think it's snakes on silk, snakes on fleece. There's a specific uh, video of a, of a ball python wiggling around because um, it can't get traction. Oh, it's a notebook, not an audio file. All right, so we still need to know why the Apollo module went sideways. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. I don't know the god of Eleuthia. Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. And by what our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accord. <laughs> now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances. But, as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. 
Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes. Perfection of exogenic technologies. Design and perfection of servitors. To provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. I gotta imagine it would be very uh, confusing to be the first batch of humans uh, decanted into existence of this world. Because uh, you'd be purely, purely artificial. No parents. All you would have is robots. I wonder if we'll find any data logs of like the first humans coming back. Be prepared. You know, I wonder if that might have been why Apollo went sideways. Like the first batch of humans, um, like someone wanted to keep an edge over the others and like gate kept the Apollo to like stay in charge and then eventually Elizabeth like maybe they died and generation. no one knew how to access the, the knowledge would be spawned inside such places she did oh mother mountain it was one of them there's only one way to be sure the hatch wouldn't open something something about a corrupted alpha registry i need to search elizabeth's office I mean, hell, we're probably um, um, a decanted human because we just sort of appeared. And fortunately, fucking humans always gotta ruin the humans. Although, in general, it is nice to know that um, when push comes to shove, people do come together. Because, like, there's the book, um, what is it? I almost failed a semester of school because I refused to read it. Uh, what is it? Lord of the Flies, with the, the kids stranded on an island or something. Um, you know, apparently, you know, they get all feral, they have all that infighting, yada, 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 supposedly in the book. Um, again, I didn't read it. I know, just know the shit and roll scopes of it. But, um, like, actual scenarios where something that's happened, um, people actually banded together. There was an instance of, like, Boy Scouts who got trapped on an island. And uh, they, they helped each other out. Even um, splinting... Quick broken legs Dr. to Sobek. keep people together until they were uh, rescued. I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species unaccountably sad that they passed forever into oblivion it causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe <laughs> wait a minute no no Gaia you're not this is good it's very good hold on do we have robot dinosaurs because the artificial intelligence thought dinosaurs were fucking cool and was sad that they went extinct. Because if that's true, that's fucking amazing. And I love it. I, I hope that's exactly why we have robot dinosaurs. Because even, even an artificial intelligence is like, dinosaurs? Based. We should have more dinosaurs. Let's fucking make dinosaurs 2.0. <laughs> you will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. 
Elizabeth. I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances she is not fine. us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Yeah, obviously, uh, uh, whoever was feeding Gaia data um, made sure to not have brief period of Jurassic Park in there. Relocation to Prime and Why are you playing a second time? Stop. May I speak outside protocol? Stop. When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect uh, distress. Are you alright? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to lie. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? Ted, All you're the I'm fuck up. is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Well, I mean, the dragons. I mean, you, know, you can't have you can't have dragons. That, that that's not a real dinosaur. Let's see. 